This is the local and national news from Fabulous 103 FM, and it would be fabulous if you subscribed. It's easy. Click the subscribe button, and at the same time, click the like button too. Songkran started early for tens of thousands of families in the capital this week. Roads to the north have been busy, and bus companies have added extra coaches to routes to keep up with demand. Motorways after midnight on Monday were clear, but by sunup, the highways were all seeing heavy traffic. For drivers, an extra hassle are those speed cameras on main routes, and they're slightly on the blink. With the centre lanes routed for vehicles driving above 100 but under 120, they're flashing like discotheques at vehicles travelling at 110. So it's wise to take extra care unless you fancy a few fines. In Isan, reports from a small village hit the news as a poor family there were named in a warrant regarding fraud and computer crimes. With no knowledge of how a computer even works, it's assumed that they were one of the many who supplied banking details to scammers in return for cash. The practice, now heavily clamped down on by police, saw innocent account holders glean 500 baht for their bank details, which were then used by scammers to receive funds from the public. Meanwhile, other locals are again going to the banks to change their account details. What many don't realise about ambulance services here in Thailand is that most, if not all, are private agencies contracted to the state. That the competition is fierce has long been known to Thais, but this week saw two rivalling accident chasers attacking each other in a battle to recover victims of a motorbike crash. It took close to two dozen cops to break up the fight. No word on the condition of those injured in the accident. When six Thai pensioners died in a car rack in Buriram, police were quickly on the scene. The six were amongst others who were en route to a religious shrine to pay homage. The other vehicle, driven by a 29-year-old soldier, was laden down with 52,000 cigarettes, all illegally imported. The soldier did his best to hide them in the woods. Cops, though, quickly spotted them. Meanwhile at home and patio police have in many cases cancelled holidays for those who work here as road checks are popping up around the region. The option of a cheap taxi for your night out that involves booze is a good one as once the holidays start in full courts will be closed and those arrested for DUI face several days in station cells until their cases are heard. Many can of course pay bail but the experience is surely not worth it as all are taken to the police station, locked up and then processed as and when. Plans are in place for the busy days here. We'll see police monitoring all areas where the water fun takes place. With the usual expectation of only fun and no issues, authorities are said to have exit plans for any who fall sick and need medical services. And all are warned to watch out for pickpocketers, a favourite occupation of the nefarious, as crowds swell. Four to five hundred police will be on duty through to next week. Most will wish they weren't here, so abusers of the law are not likely to be greeted with smiles. Pop singer Cardi B has arrived in Thailand already, ahead of her appearance set for Patia's Rolling Loud concerts, promised from the 13th to the 15th of the month. The headliner was in the capital this week, ahead of travelling here. And that concerned citizen, the one to whom numerous raids here are attributed, struck again this week as a gay bar was raided following a tip-off that Lao men were working there without permits. 2.30 in the morning raid saw customers tested for drugs, none failed, and the bar given a stern warning for being open after legal hours as five Lao men were duly removed by immigration for processing. And with the Met Office promising highs today of around 34, dropping down to 30, real feel of around 45 and a slight chance of summer showers in an otherwise hot day. Local and national news today from Fabulous 103 FM and Fabulous Patia Media Group. And to get a notification every time we release another bulletin or programme, like and subscribe to our channel, Fabulous Patia Media Group, by using the link below.